welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this really cute little solar candle holding snowman using items from the Dollar Tree. Yes, there's going to be a lot of pauses and breaks in this video, but a lot of it is due to, you know, having to let glue set up and paint dry and all of that. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to make it. All right, let's get started. So first off, what you're going to need is one of these beware signs from the Dollar Tree. And yes, that's one of the reasons why I'm doing a Christmas video now is because these signs are in stores right now. So you want to hurry up and go grab some while you still can. Just the long ones that says beware. And then you're going to need one of these. Um, there's various different sayings on them. I think some of them has football and whatnot. But this one says, welcome to our patch. One of those. You're going to need some paint. Now, y'all know I don't really like acrylic paint for painting large surfaces. So, once again, I'm using spray paint. This is Colormax Paint and Primer from Krylon. I have satin white and satin black. You're going to need some of these black buttons. These came from Walmart. Some of these big ones and some of these little ones. The little ones are going to be for the mouth. These are going to be for the eyes and the buttons going down his little tummy. Now you're going to need something for the nose. Um, you can use whatever you want for the nose. You can use a piece of orange foam or a piece of felt. Whatever you want. Now these carrots, I have a bag full over here. I had made these in an Easter video. They were Dollar Tree jump ropes. See, and I took it apart and painted it to look more realistic. And then I stuck these greenery pieces down in there. So I'm going to be using this for the nose. Let's see, what else do we have? We have some of these mittens from Dollar Tree. One of these little solar powered, see it comes on when it gets dark. One of these little solar powered lights from Dollar Tree. Some sort of stuffing to go inside the mittens. You can use whatever you want to stuff them, plastic bags, polyester, fiber fill, what have you. I also have a hot glue gun and glue sticks. My favorite one, I'll link down below as to where you can get it. For his scarf, if you want to put a scarf on him, I got a ton of these last year from Dollar Tree and I did see them again this year. The black and red ones that were so popular. Okay, so this is going to be at my house. So I'm not worried about this glitter part. For all these glittery letters, this is going to be on the back, but if you don't want to leave the glitter on here, you can take a piece of sandpaper and just buff them off and then paint as you normally would. Because I'm going to paint both sides, okay? So what I'm going to do to start off with is I'm going to take this outside and I'm going to paint this side. I'm going to paint the bottom part white and this little part up here, I'm going to paint black for his hat. Now for the hat brim, I'm going to use one of these. So you want to just carefully, and I think that these are just glued on. Try to be careful here so that you don't break it. Just kind of gently pull that off. And like I said, this is gonna be for his hat brim. I'm gonna have this kind of like right here. I think that looks good. I wanna kind of tilt it a little bit, just like that. So let's see, I need something with which to draw. Do I have something? I don't have anything. Yes, I do. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a line Kind of like right here just to sort of mark the bottom so that i know is my pen dried up so that i know where to stop with my paint so that's going to be the bottom of the hat i'm going to put a squiggle here as to kind of where i need the paint to stop so i'm just going to spray paint about from here down is going to be white and then from here up is going to be black and also this little sign here i'm going to paint it black as well because like i said you know that's going to be the brim of our hat. So let me get these painted first and then we'll come back and we'll assemble them. Hold on just a minute. All righty, I'm back and I think that my paint has dried for the most part. And yeah, while I was painting this, um, I did have a piece of cardstock that I kind of like just held right here to kind of protect this part as I sprayed the white, you know, so that I wouldn't get overspray up here. And then as I was putting on the second coat of white, I did the same thing with the cardstock, just kind of held it across here so that I could paint the black part without getting overspray everywhere. All right, so here is the little part that we're going to use for our hat brim. And I think it's pretty much dry. Well, there's an iffy looking spot right there, but it'll be okay. <laughs> so what I have here, my hot glue gun and some glitter. And I had the idea while this paint was drying to maybe put like some little blobs of glue right around the edge here. Let me zoom in 
to put some blobs of glue here to maybe look like snow had built up on the brim of his hat and was kind of like falling down. And I have a piece of cardstock here to kind of catch any glitter that's falling down. So let's see if I can do this without making a big, huge mess. Get my glue sticks loaded in, right? I'm trying to hold this so that y'all can see it. So I'm just putting some glue right along the edge there. I might just kind of do it all the way across like this. All right. Now, just going to shake this glitter on. And then we really just want this to sit there and firm up before I shake it off. Because if you don't, then your glue's probably going to run everywhere. There we go. I'll just pile it on there. <laughs> oh, I got a little speck of something, something. All right, don't do that. All right, so let's see. What do we have now? I think it should be... Nope. I'm going to say that that's not quite set up yet. So you know what? I don't want to move this until the glue has set off. Set off. I set up and then I shake the glitter off. So I'm going to pause the video again and I might do some more of this over here. I don't know, but I'm just going to let the glue harden up, shake off the glitter, and then we'll get down to business. Hold on one more time. Alrighty, I am back and I'm very, very happy with how this turned out. Does that not look like ice? I mean, how awesome is that? So after I knocked the glitter off of this part, I really liked the way it looked. So I went ahead and just put glue all the way across and then put the glitter on and did the same thing. Now, another way that you could do this is if you want this to look like snow instead of ice, you could put your glue on there, let it set up and then paint it with white acrylic paint. And then while the paint is still wet, go ahead and sprinkle your glitter on and then shake it off just like I did. But I really like, I built it up in some places here to look like, you know, <laughs> give it some, some depth and whatnot. But um, I did get a hold of some of these little floral stems at the Dollar Tree. And I don't like this plastic piece here. And I don't like this, this poor little debilitated leaf back here. So I kind of ripped one apart <laughs> so that I could have just the greenery that I liked. And also it's really bulky with like a lot of this tape type stuff on it. And I didn't want it to be too bulky because if I glue it down behind the, um, the little doohickey here, it, um, it probably wouldn't lay too flat. Let's see, I'm trying to, there we go. I cut that off. So what I'm going to try to do now is I want to glue some of these down behind this. Like I said, I wanted this to kind of be tilted a little bit, or do I want it straight? I don't know now. All right, we want it on this side. I'm going to put it on this side. So let's just put this over here on the table so I don't make too big of a mess. And I'm just going to glue some of this greenery down. I'm going to try to glue some of the greenery down without trying to make a, a big old mess. I love it. Let's see. Let's tilt it a little bit, shall we? All right. Get off of there. I'm just going to put a big old blob of glue right there. Stick this punk on. Once you get this piece on there, it'll, it'll help to hold all of this a whole lot better than me just holding it with my fingers. And then you'll be able to bend these these wires for the pine cone and this little apple and it'll look a lot better. All right, so this glue would hurry up and set up. That's another thing about using hot glue on things. It's like I have to pause the video a gajillion times, you know, just to let the glue set up. So anyway, I don't think I want that apple on there. Nah. I don't think I want to. So you know what? Let me go ahead and I may have to pause the video again. Y'all know I hate a gazillion pauses, but you got to do what you got to do. I'm going to put a little bit more glue. There we go. Well, that's fun. Let's put some more. I really want this to hold and I don't want it to pop off because I've got all this stuff underneath it. So I may have to just hold this in place for a few minutes, okay? And let this glue set up. 
and then we'll come back and decorate some more. So hold on again. Okay, so that has, stay over there. <laughs> that is glued down. And I went back and the same thing that we did here, I did up here across the top of his hat. Now this poor boy needs a face. So what I did with the carrot, I did a couple steps off camera so that this video wouldn't be quite so long. I got a little smudge part right there. I need to touch up with some white paint. But anyway, the carrot that I had was like really, really long and I didn't want it kind of like off to the side like this. I don't like that. I wanted it to be ah more three dimensional like that. So what I did is I just took my X-Acto knife and kind of cut the end off. I chipped the paint a little bit, but I'm gonna have to fix that here in a little bit. And then I put a little bit of hot glue down in there and I just crammed in some stuffing, you know, like that you use for stuffed animals. I just crammed that down in there to try to give me like a little more stability for when I go to glue it down to the face. And now all I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to put some hot glue just kind of like around here so that when that cools down and sets up, I'll have more of like a, a flat surface. See, let's go right here. I think that looks okay. And I kind of got the idea of, I want to take the glue and the glitter and also go around the nose and maybe down his nose just a little bit. I'm going to hold this to see if I got it straight right there. So let's put that glue right there and then once it dries and I can actually set this sucker up, I can put a line of glue maybe like down his nose like that and then put more glitter on it. I'm going to let this set up a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to use a paintbrush just kind of get this out of the way. Some of these projects have a lot of steps to them. And y'all know I try to make my videos sort of like as short as possible, but sometimes it just ain't possible. All right, so now his little black eyes. I'm just putting some hot glue on the back of these buttons just right there. I'm going to try to make it so it don't ooze through the holes there. And it still may, I don't know. All right. Then we're just going to put that here. Just around the edge. Let me see. It's kind of an awkward position where I'm sitting. I can't really see. Oh, these are straight. That looks okay. All right. And now we're just going to glue some of the smaller ones right like this for a mouth. That's all that we're going to do there. Now for these mittens, all I did, again, was some of the stuffing. I put a little bit of the stuffing down in there and then used my hot glue gun and just sealed the edges shut. So let's see, I'm trying to not make such a big mess with this glitter and this glue, but you know what? If it makes a mess, it makes a mess. I'm past the point of really giving a fiddle. So what I wanna do now is taking these mittens, getting this where y'all can see it, taking the mittens and I wanna glue them to the side here and then I'm gonna bring them together so that he can hold his little light. And the thing about this is, you know, there's no on and off switch there's no batteries that can be replaced, so you don't have to worry about positioning this any way where you can get to a battery. So I'm just going to put my glue on my mitten. I think right about there. And I'm still undecided as to whether or not I want to put a scarf on him. So I'm just going to do the same thing with my other mitten. That was hard to squeeze there. Just going to hold it right here and then I'll probably put a few more blobs of glue, you know, just to kind of reinforce it right along this side here. See where my thumb is a wiggling? Right on this side here where the glove comes into contact with the sign, I'll put more glue there just to reinforce it. So I'm going to hold this so this glue sets up. I'm going to glue the buttons on for his mouth and maybe a few down the front. Might put a scarf on, he might not. Don't know. <laughs> well, I'm going to pause it again. I know I'm aggravating the crap out of y'all. I'm going to pause it again, work on that, and come back, and we'll see what I got. Okie dokie. I'm standing up here now so I can get a better view. But this is what I did to his nose. I just put some hot glue down there and around, and then sprinkled on more of the glitter, just like we did up above. I glued some buttons on for his little smile. Go on, spider. And two of the big buttons down here. 
Now see, I got glitter all down here, but like I said, I'm gonna clean up this whole thing with a paintbrush and get in all the little nitty gritties here in a bit. So let's move this up so that y'all can see. All right, where's my scarf? Um, the scarves from the Dollar Tree are infinity scarves. So what I did is I just cut it apart and now I'm going to wrap it around here and we're just gonna measure, cause what I wanna do, I need to thin this sucker down. Just like cut a strip maybe or just leave it like that. I can just kind of bunch it up and leave it like that. So I'm going to just tie this, I'm trying to see about how long I need it, over here. I want it off to the side so you can still see his buttons because the buttons are adorable and you don't want the tassels and whatnot hanging down to cover up your little light. Now let your light shine, baby. So then I'm just gonna cut the end down here so that it's not so long. I might cut some fringe across the bottom here in a little bit. Not sure. All right, so here's his little light. So let's see, I wanna see how I wanna glue this. I think I'm just gonna put some glue. Where's the batteries? I don't want that to show. Let's put just a little dot right there. And let's stick that. That looks okay, kinda of keep it in line with his buttons. And then we'll put a blob of glue here. I'm going to kind of bend his little mitten around it. I've got glitter everywhere, y'all. Goodness gracious. I'm going to have to break out the shop back here in a little bit and get all this mess up. But look, this was a fun one. I had a lot of fun making it. So, you know, I don't mind if I get glitter everywhere. I'm going to put a little blob of glue right here. Kind of put his little mitts together. Hold on to your candle, baby. Like that, you can still see the bottom of the candle and everything. This would be really cute to set outside. So I'm just gonna hold this here just for a second. And like I said, I may go back and just cut some fringe along the bottom of that scarf. And looking at it, I think it's done. I'm, I'm gonna call it done. So here's his little mittens holding his candle and his face and his little hat. Yep, he's done. <laughs> But anyway, um, if you would, would you please, please give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe, check me out on other forms of social media, the links to all of which will be in the description box down below, and I hope to see y'all next time. Bye.